Welcome back guys, it's Kids Seven Playground here. Today we're back with another video of Scratch. And today we'll be making a springtime themed game called Honey Launcher. So I'll show you guys a demo. So first of all, some music plays. And then there's also, you can move the monkey with the left and right arrows keys. And then you can't pass the tree. And the objective of the game is to launch honey into the monkey catcher guy over here. And the honey should go into here and try to catch as much honey as you can. And try to improve your score with only a limited amount of launches. So, you can use the up and down arrow keys to uh, move the arrow. So then you can launch the honey with the space bar. And it will launch the honey like that. And if it touches the guy, then you'll get a score. As you can see, I touched it. So, I get one score. And you basically have to predict where it's going to go. Or you can like time it correctly. If not, it'll hit the edge and you lose a launch. And if you um, lose all your launches without getting greater than six score, then you lose. So, and if you get six score, then you win. So, let's get started. So, we made our new project and I'm going to rename it to Honey Launcher. First thing we're going to do is delete the Scratch Cat and we're going to get some sprites in. So, First, let's get the monkey sprite. Let's also get the tree sprite. Let's also get the arrow sprite. Let's also get the jar. And we'll only be using the honey variant. And let's get... Um, so I do have another monkey. It's called the monkey catcher. I have it in my backpack. It's really simple to draw. So it's just a normal monkey. So I'll just show you. It's just a normal monkey, and then um, basically it's a reshaped circle. So you just move it down, and you just import some uh, honey costume in there, and it's done. And that's just your honey catcher, your monkey catcher. And yeah, so these are all the sprites we need, except the you and you lose, but we'll do that last. So let's go to the monkey. First thing we're going to do is set his size to 45. So he's a little bit smaller. When the green flag is clicked, we're going to make it so it goes to X, and I have a certain position for this, negative 180, negative 140. So it doesn't really touch the edge, so it doesn't like get the honey bottles on the edge, because it will delete the honey bottle. So, and after that, it will switch costume to monkey A. So there is two costumes to the monkey that we're using, and I have a throwing costume and a normal costume. So this is a normal costume. And I take this one, so we don't need this one. I take this one, and I shifted the hands up, so just like this, to create a throwing effect for the monkey. So this one I flipped vertical, and I just placed it like that. I just readjust the hands a little bit, and it shows a throwing monkey. Maybe more like that. Yeah. And those are our two costumes. Next. We're going to have a show, and then we're going to make a new variable, launches. And it'll set launches to 15. And after that, it'll set rotation style. So we're going to make it don't rotate. So it doesn't rotate at all. Oops, like that. All right, so now we're gonna get a when the green flag is clicked. We're gonna get a new variable, score. So let's get score. And we're gonna set score to zero. And then forever. So let's get this done. If then, key space is pressed, then it will switch costume to monkey B, wait, 0.2 seconds and it will switch costume back to monkey A. And then under that, so not inside, under it, if you go to F, if then touching tree, then it will reset the position back to, it will reset the position back to negative 80, negative 140. So it gives the effect of bouncing back. And then after that, we need an if-then statement under. 
if then statement under the key left arrow is pressed then it will change x by negative 4 and then if key right arrow pressed it will change x by 4 so now we're going to code the you and you lose stuff on the bottom of the monkey so we get an if then so first you want to drag an and and then you also want to get an or and then place the or inside one of these sections and also you want to get an equals and a less than sign so just like that and get another less than sign just like that so if launches is equal to zero or launches is less than zero so you ran out of launches and score is less than six so six is the determining factor if you win or not then it will broadcast you lose broadcast you lose and we'll duplicate this so if launches is equal to zero or launches is less than zero and score is so you got an or or right here so take away this you put an equal sign and score is equal to zero so if you ran out of launches and your score is equal to zero or your score is greater than is equal uh it's greater than six then it'll broadcast you win Okay, and that's the monkey. So let's move on to the tree. So first of all, the tree, we want, to, we want to pick a place for it to be. And the position I ended up putting it at is negative 10, um, one thir negative 138. So it's down there. And I also set the size to 60. So you can just do the same as me. It would just be over there. And... When the green flag is clicked, it will show. That's it. Now let's move on to the arrow. So the arrow. When the green flag is clicked, it will show. And then it will set launch power. Let's make a new variable. Launch power. It will set launch power to 5, 10. And then after that, it will go to x, negative 180, negative 140, so the position of the monkey. And it will point in direction 45. And then it will go to the front layer. So it will be in front of the monkey. So you can see which, which way you're like aiming at. And when the green flag is clicked forever, it will go to monkey. And when up arrow is pressed, so left and right is to control the monkey, up arrow is to control the arrow position, then it will turn three degrees left. And then when down arrow key press, it'll turn three degrees right. After that, um, you take a when up arrow key is pressed, you take an if then statement. If then launch power, so it's got launch power, is less than 20, then it will change launch power by 0.1 and then a when down arrow key press so just duplicate it and if launch power is greater than one 
then it'll change launch power by negative 0.1 so it's not as strong okay that is the arrow code so i'm gonna pause over here feel free to pause over here now let's move on to the jar let's go to the jar so we're only using the honey costume so delete that and we'll use this so when the green flag is clicked it will go switch costume in jar b it will hide and it will go to monkey we'll take a forever loop take a if then if then key space is pressed it will show and then we'll get a sound effect so let's get boing sound effect boing boing, boing. it'll start sound boing it'll go to arrow and then it will point in direction and we take the tricky block so go to sensing take this backdrop number of stage switch the second one first so point in direction of arrow so it's just point in the direction of the arrow and then it will set new variable ball speed it will set ball speed to zero and we'll make another new variable gravity did it not make did I not click enter gravity oh oh man it's just lagging okay we're back I just went back in and it's back because it was lagging earlier so we're gonna set gravity to negative 0.25 so that's going to uh, affect the fall speed. And then after that, we're going to have a repeat until we take three ores. So, I mean, two ores, but like three sections. And it'll repeat until touching edge or touching tree one. So the tree is a factor. Or touching monkey catcher. I'll drag this and put it in here. And then the thing will move launch power amount of steps. After that, it will change Y by the fall speed. We're also going to close the launch power. And also that, it will change fall speed by gravity. So the gravity is affecting the fall speed. And you take an if then statement. So we're going to place it right under here. If then touching the monkey catcher, then it'll change the score by one. And under all this, like under the repeat until and the if then, we're going to put a hide. So that's if it touches it, it'll go to arrow one. And then after that, it will change launches by negative one. And now our last thing, I mean, we're almost done, but the monkey catcher. So when the green flag is clicked, it will go to X. I do have a position for this. I put it at 136, 136, negative 134. We're going to make it show. We're going to make it go forever. And it will repeat until you take an or statement. So let's take an or. Launches is equal to zero. Or launches is less than zero. Well, just like that. And then after that, it will glide one second to x so it's gonna be negative 134 that's the y but then the x is going to be a pick random 90 to 200 of course you can alter this to glide more often or glide to um, a greater uh, range of positions but i put 90 to 200 
and then it'll wait one second. Last thing we have to do is the you win, you lose in the backdrop. So let's do the you win, you lose real quick. So you win, I put it in a blue color since it's the f we use the forest backdrop. So yeah, we'll use marker and we'll write you win. And we'll make it pretty big, maybe a little bit smaller. It's still a little bit off the screen, so maybe a little bit more forward. And then you you win, and then center it. Then we'll duplicate this. Take a, make a you lose, center it, and color this one red because red is normally the losing color. After that, we're gonna have some more code over here. So when the green flag is clicked. It'll go to zero zero. It will hide. And then when I receive you lose, then it'll switch costume to costume two. It will show. After that, it'll stop all. Duplicate this. When I receive you win, switch costume to costume one. It'll show and it'll stop all. So your game should look like this. But let's just. Move the school variables around and let's get the backdrop. So I use the forest backdrop. So we're going to use the forest backdrop. And we have some code back here. So I use when the green flag is clicked forever, it will play. I used Ode Song. That's a pretty one, good one. Ode Song. It will play sound Ode Song until done. So Let's test out the game and see if it works. Let's just save the project real quick. If it'll save. Yeah. So we got the music. The guy is moving. We can also move the arrow. Bounces right off the tree. And the space bar, you throw the honey. Ooh. And... And you try to get at least six score before. Okay, let's see if we can get him in time. Oh no, come back. You can't even throw the honey because it's not a clone. So, okay, I think we're gonna win this one. We have not. We have eight more launches, and we only need one more score. So the objective of this game is try to get a, as high of a score as you can. But it's kind of hard because the monkey moves at random positions, and you have to like find that correct angle on the arrow to like get the all the score in. So. Yeah, we're, we're gonna win this because we have six score, but it is kind of hard to win. And it says you win. So yeah, and let's see what happens if you lose. So I'm just gonna spam all my honey at the tree. Let's see, let's throw it at myself. Oop. Wee, wee, wee. And you lose because I didn't get any score. So that's the whole game. So. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment in the comment section below what else games that you want, and I'll see you guys next time.